Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and this video is all about a wonderful perennial that I grow in my garden and divided this year. It's the fantastic Saracenia or carnivorous pitcher plant but the hardy one which I grow outdoors in five different planters around the garden. So I divided my plants earlier this year and we're going to go and have a look and see how they're doing and perhaps if you don't grow Saracenia already I can convince you to try out this wonderful perennial with such a long season of interest for the garden. I guess our first port of call is to go and check out how the two Saracenia planters that I moved from a completely different location in the garden to this one earlier on in the year, how they've been doing. And as you can see, we have lots and lots of plants in leaf and that's what those pitches are, they're leaves. So all this stone you see is actually just a coating around a plastic basin that these Saracenia grow in and if you want to check out how I did that and how I build that then you should check out the earlier video when I moved these things because then we saw their motor parts but what I really want to show you today is how magnificently the Saracenia have done and just look at them now this one here is certainly the tallest in this particular planter and it has very very fat pictures and as I mentioned in the last videos, I'm afraid the labels for these plants got mixed up a very long time ago. So I can't tell you what's what. Personally, I'm really loving these hooded ones. And as you can see, they have kind of like hoods that hook over. And I think it's a very attractive feature. And if we look in close, you can see that the markings really are quite delicate and refined. Not as tall as the first ones we looked at. And we have kind of frillier ones behind. And here we have a very foolish fly that seems quite intrigued by <laughs> the picture and not at all scared by the fact that it hears its. <laughs> its bodies down there buzzing already captured within. So for a laugh I guess let's measure this Saracenia here and see how tall it is and I will place my tape measure down on the medium and we have I guess 43 centimeters. Let's go and see if we can take a look at what this guy's been having for lunch. I guess it just looks dark down there. These are insects. And these ones aren't moving anymore. So I imagine they have become dinner. So now we're going to just take a quick look at this other planter over there and I see a very skinny but very tall Saracenia. Now generally speaking this planter seems to have ended up with the skinnier of the Saracenia. I won't say that they are punier in terms of clumps but just that they're natural genetic makeup is such that they tend to be skinnier. Speaking of skinny, let's just take a look at this one here that is still holding itself upright. Look at this. 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 So tall. We're going to have to measure that. So here's the tape measure and um, this is actually quite a puny division. I'm going to pl place it down here. And we have a whopping 50 centimetres, <laughs> which is really, really tall. And also, it looks even taller because the plant itself is so skinny. 
and we have lots and lots of different types in here. Different sets of markings, some redder than others, some with more pronounced veining. Lots and lots of different types. Of course we've got pictures in various states of opening so you know some are well they don't have their mouths open yet not open for business i wonder which one is your favorite i know which ones are my favorite and i guess i'll let you know as we pass through this video and i guess now what we're going to do is to trip on over to another part of the garden where we have my second lot of Saracenia and they're waiting to show us how they've done. And here we are where I have two movable planters and two lots of Saracenia Leucophil on the left and mixed hybrids on the right. Now the Leucophila aren't, well they're slow to get going and someone told me that these are ones that come into leaf later in the season so that kind of makes sense. So I guess let's just take a look over on the other side at this planter which is doing so so much better. And here we have very yellow Saracenia with kind of red markings on their throat and quite tall, quite fat and quite tall so perhaps not as attractive as some of them but generally a good all-rounder and I just love the ones that are tall if you have them in a tall planter and then the plant is equally tall and if you're short like me then you end up with the Saracenia looking you in the eye and I just love that I think it, I, yeah, I just think they're a wonderful addition to any garden. And I've kept the best for last. So we have now crossed over to the other side of the garden where I have this planter which was the first one to get divided. These were the first Saracenia to get divided this year. And look at how gloriously they've done. We are talking big, big, big pictures here. Especially those very tall ones you see at the back. And I can't believe how tall they've grown. So I'm just going to measure this very, very tall Saracenia here by placing the measuring tape at the base here. And there you can see 67, 68, 69 centimeters tall, which is enormous, absolutely enormous. Do you hear that? That buzzing sound. It's insects that the plant has caught and is eating. And I guess the moral of this story is that Saracenia do benefit greatly from dividing uh, every few years. And you'll get added vigour and renewed growth if you do so. And that brings me to the end of this video. Just an update of the Saracenia in my garden and how they've done after the division and moving of some of them earlier on in the year. If you're interested in Saracenia and haven't seen those other videos yet, then perhaps you'd like to check them out. I'm linking at the end of this one to a playlist I made all about my Saracenia plants and how I deal with them in the garden. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video update. Bye!